Ever seen regular guys with super cool girlfriends and wonder how they do it? It's not about being super good looking, it's about knowing the right moves. Stick with us till the end of this video and you'll learn the tricks that make you someone she can't get enough of. Get ready guys, we're about to show you how to step up your game. Let's go. Number 9. Listen more than you talk. Here's a smart move. When you're out on a date, try to talk less and listen more. A lot of guys mess up by just talking about themselves and not letting the lady share her side. That's not how you win her over. You gotta let her do more of the talking. Really listen to what she's saying because it matters. This might be something new to you, but it works. Ever seen a regular guy with a super attractive woman? He's probably great at listening. When you're with her, ask questions that show you're really paying attention. And don't just nod your head. Use your whole body to show you're engaged in her story. This is a game changer. It makes you stand out from other guys. Number eight, act chill. When you're talking to a girl and she seems to like you, don't give her all your attention. Instead, ignore her a bit. Sounds weird, right? But it actually works. When you don't pay much attention to someone, they often try harder to get noticed by you. Think about it like this. You're having a good talk, and then you start paying less attention. It's like not finishing a tasty snack. It leaves her wanting more. This can make her even more interested in you. Give it a go. After chatting, don't talk to her for a couple of days and see how she reacts. If she checks in to see if everything's okay, it means she's probably into you. It's a simple move, but it can really work. Number seven, let her know you're in demand. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, especially with girls. Even if you think she's out of this world, playing it like she's your only option might not be the best move. Start by giving her some attention, then slowly start branching out. Chat with other girls, especially when she can see. It sounds tough, but it's about showing you're not just waiting around for her. This can spark a bit of jealousy, which believe it or not, is a way to catch her interest. Switch up your usual routine. Instead of always being there for her, spread your attention around. This signals you've got choices, and it's natural for people to want what seems in demand. Keep an eye on how she reacts. If she seems a bit off or more interested all of a sudden, that's your clue. She's noticed you're not all about her, and it's making her rethink. It's a bold strategy, but it's a clear way to see if she's really into you. Number six, leave them wanting more. Ever notice how people can't get enough of things that give them a rush? There's a reason for that. They're left craving more. This trick works wonders in conversations too. When you're chatting with a woman and things are going great, wrap it up while it's still lively. It's about leaving her on a high note, making her eager for the next time you talk. This tactic turns you into someone she can't wait to hear from again. It's like creating a good kind of habit where she looks forward to your conversations. By ending talks at their peak, you become someone she can't get enough of. So, make it a point to leave things hanging just when it gets most interesting. It's a solid move to keep her coming back for more. Number five, master the three minute connection, the three minute theory. It's all about building a quick connection that sticks. Psychologists say the more someone feels familiar with you, the more they're inclined to like you. So how do you fast track this familiarity? Focus on using her name. When she tells you her name, make a point to use it three times in the first three minutes of your chat. It's a subtle yet powerful way to make her feel more connected to you. It's like you're fast forwarding through the awkward getting to know you phase and straight into comfortable territory. But remember, balance is key. Use her name naturally and don't overdo it or it'll start to feel forced. Just weave it into the conversation smoothly and watch the magic happen. This simple technique can significantly boost how trustworthy and attractive she finds you. Give it a try and see the difference for yourself. Number four, the subtle smile strategy. Watch how you're smiling. Your face says a lot more than words ever could. Did you know most of what you say isn't with words at all, but with how you look and move? That's why your smile matters, especially when you're talking to someone you like. Keep this in mind. When she's talking, have a small smile on your face. Not a big fake one. That's just weird. A little smile is perfect. It makes you seem friendly and cool to hang out with. If you don't smile at all, you might come off as bored or uninterested. But a slight smile? It makes everything you talk about more fun and lively. It's a small thing that can make a big difference. Number three, get comfortable with compliments. Making yourself someone she can't get enough of? It's all about feeling familiar. And a great way to do this is with compliments. Giving someone a compliment is a straight shot to boosting their mood and making you memorable. When you're out, keep an eye out for the little things, like her jewelry. Women often pick their jewelry with care, just like their clothes. 
If you notice and mention something about her jewelry, it shows you see the effort she's put in. This small move can make a big leap from you being just another guy to someone she remembers and wants to be around. Sure, it might feel a bit awkward at first, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. Stick with it, and soon you'll be handing out compliments that feel both natural and impactful. Remember, making her feel noticed in a sea of people is a powerful way to draw her closer. Number two, pick the right topics. Got a date lined up with that amazing girl? Here's how you make sure it goes smoothly. The secret? Choosing what you talk about carefully. On a date, some topics will have you both nodding in agreement, but others might set you on opposite sides of the fence. Remember this. First dates are for finding common ground. Bringing up stuff you both like or agree on is your best bet. Diving into debates or disagreements? That's risky business and can turn things sour fast. And hey, no need to go overboard trying to impress her with wild stories or by acting like your top dog in every way. This isn't about proving you're better or smarter. Just be genuine. Stick to things you both can relate to. And you're golden. Keeping it real like this is the way to leave a good impression and make her want to see you again. Number 1. The Art of Thoughtful Gifting Diving into the world of gifts can really set you apart, especially in the early stages of getting to know someone. The trick is to keep it thoughtful yet appropriate. For example, if you've got a date lined up with a girl you're just starting to get to know, you can't go wrong with a simple bouquet of flowers. It's classic, romantic, and shows you're interested without coming on too strong. This kind of gesture often gets a warm response and sets a positive tone for the date. But here's the thing. Keep it measured. There's no need to go all out with over-the-top gifts like expensive jewelry or lavish surprises right off the bat. That can be overwhelming and might even make her feel uncomfortable. Instead, focus on making her feel special and respected. It's the thoughtfulness and the effort that counts, not the price tag. And remember, if things don't work out as you hoped, don't sweat it. Confidence is your best asset. Stick to the social skills we've covered, and you'll find someone who's right for you. Keep your head high, stay positive, and know that the right person will appreciate what you bring to the table. If you've absorbed all this knowledge, comment below with 100% to confirm. And for more interesting topics, check out our recommended video. Thanks for watching.